Hello and welcome to a video from Seixel Support Campus. Today we're going to visit the Customer Experience Center here in Aachen to show you how a home network is configured so that it's fast and reliable. That's going to be good, so let's take care. So welcome to the Customer Experience Center. This is the room where we also record the tech talk. And today I have installed a sample of, of a home network. So if you take a look to the table, it's quite full, but it's not everything you need for your home network. I will uh, explain that on the right hand side, there's a quite uh, cheap solution for your home network. And on the, right, on the left hand side, uh, there's high end solution with higher speed. And at the, in the middle of the table, we do have a installation that I will explain at the end of the video, which is of course the professional solution. So basically the VMG 3006 is an internet access device that uh, is with your internet broadband connection. Uh, you can uh, also get some others. The um, part is that at the end of this device it delivers high-speed internet on an Ethernet connection and then you, uh, I uh, suggest you to buy a router like the NBG6615 that has the ability to cover your whole area with AC wireless standard and uh, has already gigabit connection so that this high speed is transported between the two devices. So if you have connected your um, internet clients uh, in your home like the smart television, your uh, disk station, your uh, game console or maybe a, a set-top box that comes from the internet provider for IP television, then four of these LAN ports are not enough so you have already occupied uh, your Ethernet connections. Then we can use a switch like the uh, GS108S version 2 which then extends the Ethernet connections. Important is that you have a GS, so a gigabit switch between these tools because then otherwise it would be a bottleneck if it's only Ethernet switch. So if you want to reach another area in your house, for example another um, floor or uh, you have a, 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 an office in the backyard of your house, you can of course put a cable to this uh, location, but there's also the opportunity to take a power line adapter. Power line is uh, using the uh, mains network to transport the Ethernet uh, signals and uh, the PLA5405 uh, version uh, 2 is a quite easy device to use. It's not a really fast one but uh, it at least it uh, helps you to connect a computer or uh, maybe a, um, another client in an extended area. So if you have not used Ethernet to connect to an extended area. You can also use a wireless extender which is uh, possible uh, to connect to your router and then uh, give another wireless into an area where the connection is not so good with, uh, of your main router. Uh, this uh, WRE2206 um, is uh, an extender that works in the N um, network, so 300 megabits at the top and we also have extenders that are using AC standard. So I also introduced the WAP3205 as an extender here which can be connected to the router and the uh, better um, coverage is of course it has two extra antennas. So if you are using an AC wireless in your home it makes no sense that the clients have only N, V, G or N standard which is much slower and then it's uh, better to install this kind of USB dongle which has now the AC standard, AC 600 megabit for the <coughs> NWD6505. So uh, at the beginning I said that uh, the internet access devices uh, are normally coming from the provider but of course you can buy them separately and uh, if you do that and this is an uh, example where uh, besides the wide area network connection also LAN connection is in there and the device has uh, an AC wireless network um, you can buy this device of course separately uh, to add it to your internet connection but then it's important that it because it's a VDSL modem that it's compatible with your uh, internet speed. 
So if you um, have connected all your clients to this device, it will be at the end, of course, limited because it's only uh, showing uh, four LAN ports and you can use another uh, access uh, switch like the GS1208 to extend your Ethernet connections. This device is also available with power over Ethernet, so you can also power this high-end uh, access points that use then an Ethernet cable and um, get power and data on the same cable. So if you have connected uh, your Ethernet, you can of course extend your, wire, your wired network using a power line adapter. Unfortunately, this device is not available with a UK power plug, but the device has a pass-through connection on the front side and two Ethernet connections and the reset button for the encryption. And uh, these devices are working in the speed of maximum 200, uh, 2000 megabit per second um, via the mains connection. So there's another option if uh, your company is uh, working with a professional wireless network. For example, this uh, NWA AX510 um, uh, is uh, a device that is working as a controlled access point and uh, this can be installed from the IT department of the company to connect immediately if he reaches an internet connection, no matter if it's in home or, or in the wireless uh, or in, in another area, it connects to the internet and builds a VPN tunnel to the network of the company. So it's data safe and the wireless that is then uh, sent out by this device is the same like in the company. So your computers, your uh, clients, uh, that are from your company uh, connected are working at home in the same speed and the same connection as in the company. So we are talking about 300 megabit speed of the wireless ex of the uh, internet connection here, um, which is of course no, not available everywhere, but, but um, there is of course um, uh, the uh, future uh, connection that uh, your internet connection will be much faster. So if you are uh, aware that your wireless network uh, should cover a big area, then I really um, suggest you to take a look at the multi system. Multi is available in three different device categories, which is the multi U is a small and compact one. The multi X is a white device that uh, has a home uh, uh, like uh, connection. And this is the multi plus, which is more professional, of course. And uh, with this notes, which includes already um, an one uh, connection and three um, LAN connections, there are antennas uh, built in on the wireless AC network that cover with one node about 170 square meters. If you take the second node, like this one, which comes normally in double pack, then uh, you already cover up to 240 square meters. And with a third node, you can easily reach over 700 square meters. The backbone system is using a 5 gigahertz wireless to connect the nodes under each and they are meshing together. So if you install these devices, everything on the table here is due except your internet connection. Because uh, if you are using this kind of uh, device, then you better switch off the wireless and use the complete multi-system to connect your whole home. So just to explain that the access point should be in a distance that it's not overlapping too much. As an example, if I have a client that is moving from the main router to an extension router, for example, you should have an area where they are overlapping. But if this area is overlapping too much, then you have an area where both devices are talking loud to this client and the client is not able to know where should, where should he connect to when he is leaving that area closer to the louder access point, then it's uh, connecting. That means it is always a position where it's distorting. The best option is to have them separated, that the overlapping is only quite small, so that the distance of switching between one access point to the other is really uh, short and uh, um, the, the client can have a, a better connection then. So uh, I think we are at the end. We have a lot of devices uh, discussed here. If you have a question to these devices, connect to support.sykso.eu, where we have a knowledge base of about 600 different articles, where some of these devices are already 
um, introduced. Also videos and unpacking videos are available there. And on the Cycle Support Campus channel on the uh, YouTube, you can also find all these videos here. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. We're Zysel, and we're your networking ally.